simple intro for this one because I did a spoiler video. Can't believe I'm saying that. Usually the spoilers go right with it, but I figured I'd give you guys the option. I don't want to make you feel, you know, too constrained. Anyway, this is a long enough ramble. So, always keep it in my little black book. Had to write this stuff down. Vanya had a power. Vanya had a power. Vanya was the most powerful one out of all of them. And the reason why she was never allowed to do anything is because Vanya is emotional. This is not to make anybody feel bad for being emotional, but Vanya's emotions were directly tied to her power. She never learned to manage her emotions. She was never able to control her power, so she would have been a wild card. You remember the first scene in the first episode where we see the, the Umbrella Academy stopping the bank robbers? Now imagine, now imagine how cool that was, right? Remember it? You remember how dope it was? Now imagine if Vanya was down there with no control of her powers. She could have potentially killed everybody. So I guess the old man had a reason for his madness. Still pretty much was, he wasn't really a father. That's, I don't know if this is spoiler stuff, but I don't think he was a dad. I think he was more so just a man who had a plan to protect and wanted to try to give the best possible lifestyle that he could for children like this. Think about it. If something like this happens and a privatized military gets a hold of these kids, they'd be lucky if they even got names, all right? Mom had to give them names. He named them one through seven, but he gave them like living conditions. So even though it was pretty blunt and there was no real emotion, him, privatized military, him treating you like a weapon. He at least talks to you and communicates with you and you know has you learning things. I feel as though it was the it was the best of the two, so that's just my opinion. I think number five. Oh wait, sorry. We're gonna come back to number five. Vanya's boyfriend was crazy and he killed Ben. Ben was dead. The only person I knew that Ben was dead is Klaus. The reason why Klaus knows is because Klaus can talk to the dead. We learned that Klaus is like able to like bring the dead over to our reality when he's sober and not extremely high. But Vanya's boyfriend was crazy. I, I just, mm -mm, he, mm -mm, nah, he was doing too much. He was doing way too much. At one point I was just like, yo, Allison, listen, I do not mind if you tell Uther to punch this guy in the face. Come back to Allison though, you're not safe either, baby girl. Number five is dope. I think number five is probably one of the dopest ones because he is the oldest, but is, but he looks the youngest. Because of the time space continuum, I don't know if anybody watches like any of these shows with time travel you can help me out here because his rea his consciousness extends past the reality that they know him to live in he has he's aged to like he was like in his 60s or 70s or even 80s but then he comes back in the 13 year old boy body so he has all that knowledge which is pretty dope if i had that type of knowledge oh man it'd be lit it'd be so lit i'd have probably made instagram I'd probably made Facebook. I'd have brought Skonex back. Oh, it would have been late. Time capsule for y'all. Well, Allison and Luther. I know they're not real brother and sister, but uh, that relationship is a little weird. It's a little weird because uh, it's kind of gross. It feels like Game of Thrones or something. House is probably number two. What do I mean by that? Oh, yeah, Klaus is probably the second most powerful after Vanya, me, because while number five can, you know, jump through time, Klaus can essentially bring back Vanya from the dead if she was to ever die and just have her use her power. I guess Ben wanted to use his power because Ben, as I said, Ben died, but he came back and he was using his power to kind of help them all out so they wouldn't die when they were trying to stop Vanya. My voice sounds like it's going. It's probably because I'm really sleepy, guys. So I'm sorry, just, just bear with me. Diego is my favorite one out of all of them. I just think the knife throwing is pretty cool. I've never been a fan of guns. I've always felt that guns were way too quick and they are, I wouldn't say a coward's way out, but I feel as though a gun is just, doesn't really take much skill per se, as opposed to a knife. Like Diego will take a knife Let's pretend that this is a knife, right? Or, hold on, give me one better. Okay, cool. Diego will take this knife and think about where he wants to throw it, flick it off his hand like, like, like this, and that knife will go wherever he wants it to go. I found that to be pretty cool. He was like Wesley from Wanted <clears throat> meets Electra. Electra? Electra from 
that Daredevil movie, the good one. No, 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 I like them. I'm going on ramblings. This is what happens when you're up <laughs> doing reviews. Saddest part for me would be that Pogo dies. He dies because Vanya is hurt. I mean, I get it. Her dad didn't necessarily treat her with respect. He built an entire bunker in the basement of the house that she then broke out of, so she's mad at everybody. But this is the good news, and this is what can potentially give us a number five, or a number five, give us a season two using number five. Three of the children actors that were in the show were primarily used for flashbacks, which makes sense because we're talking about a show present day as the children are all adults, or as all of the numbers are adults. Numbers one through seven are adults. I'd love to have seen how they interacted more instead of just through flashbacks. Number five is gonna now reset the timeline. I don't know how far back he's gonna go or how far back they're gonna take it, but I'm interested to see where they go with the direction of this show. As I said in the uh, spoiler free review, it's a dope show and it's a dope concept. As long as they stick to the source material, and by the way, the dude from My Chemical Romance, shout out to you, bro, because I did not know you made this. And I listened to one of the songs from My Chemical Romance called Teenagers When I Work Out. And that song is awesome. So to know that this guy was, I want to say brave enough. Yeah, I think I could say brave. I think he was brave enough to branch out and do something else that he likes. So this is not necessarily the right video for it, but I'm going to just say it anyway. To anybody who watches my stuff, to anybody who follows my content, to anybody who subscribes, anything of the sort, and you've stuck around this long in my channel growth, and you've stuck around this long for the video itself, I want you to understand, if you're doing something, and you're good at it, let's say you do makeup, let's say you're a dancer, let's say you like to model, let's say you make funny videos, let's say you like to vlog, whatever the case is, keep doing it, right? And if there's something else that piques your interest, and you like to do it as a hobby, keep doing that too. Don't quit, don't stop whatever it is that you want to do because you never know where it can go. I'm pretty sure when this guy made this show that I'm reviewing for two videos now, he probably didn't think it was gonna do this big. He probably was just like, I just like making the comic books, who knows? So that's my message to all of you guys. I know I don't usually end on positive notes. I should probably do that from now on. Fall asleep because God, I feel constantly right now. Anyway. That's some of my thoughts on the spoilers, well, from my perspective. What did you guys think? Did you guys enjoy the show? Did you like the show? Comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. I love to see the engagement. I love the interactions. You guys are dope. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And, yeah. I don't really know how to outro my videos other than deuces, but it's a spoiler-free one, so. Huh. Oh well. Peace. Deuces.